what's up, what's up? It's October 8th, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. And the little surrounding areas in the valley. Uh, we, we're, we've been getting a little on and off drizzle for a little bit. Doesn't look like it's gonna pan out too much. But, let me get this out of here. That's the parking pass for when we stayed at Laganita. Anyway, we're using the GoPro again. I was able, or I, I'm using the low light setting. So I'm hoping it'll turn out a little better because if it does, we'll use it more often. It's just, uh, it's just easier. And I hope it's, uh, I mean, sometimes I like the video better, but I, I'm just, I haven't been good enough to figure out what works best or what settings work best for anything on this thing. So, Get any picture setting, video setting. Well, anyway, um, I know it says 55 degrees right here. Don't believe that. It's lying, but it's not that far off. We're very windy right now. Um, we're just gonna take a little cruise. It's 1:43 in the morning. Um, there's a bunch of stuff falling from my trees tonight. Haven't had any of that happen since last winter time. It's coming, you guys. It's coming. Uh, one of my, well, he used to be my very best friend. And I told you guys over the years what happened between his family and myself. Um, anyway, I just got to see him for the first time in over 20 years, like three months ago or something, two months, three months ago or so. And uh, it was like the happiest I've, I've felt in a long, long time. And he's coming up here, I think tomorrow or Saturday for his birthday. He's the one who actually introduced me to this town, you guys. Like, uh, that's how like close of a friend this, this guy was. Um, when I was growing up, my parents had a house, or my mom had a house in, in Lake Arrowhead, a vacation house. So we would go, uh, we'd come up here during the storms to Lake Arrowhead and then when we'd get snow, uh, we would come up here skiing. But we'd never stay in Big Bear. Like I had never ever stayed in Big Bear and I had never gone into the village except for the Jack in the Box drive through a long time ago when we were up here skiing. That's it, nothing else. Um, and then I met my old best friend who I still, even though I haven't seen him in ages, I still consider him like a brother to me. Um, but uh, his, his parents had uh, one of the most magnificent homes you've ever seen. And it was like one of their many vacation homes right on Cove Street up here in Big Bear Lake. And I think it's called Papoose Bay. It's, it's like one of the nicest strips of like, man, Oscar De La Hoya lived right there. Um, and I think that my friend's parents' house was actually bigger than Oscar's mansion. And as I said, this was one of their vacation homes. Like, I just envy how much that guy's father and mom and just, just built up crazy empire. Just amazing people. Um, I love you to death, Jordan. They're from Redlands, but they ended up moving to the coast and have a huge five acre property in South Laguna, right next to Three Arch Bay. It, it's five acres right on the beach side. I'm, I'm not kidding, five acres, you guys. They used to have a pier house and everything. Like, it's, it's a famous spot, and like, commercials get shot there and stuff like that. Like, lifestyles of the rich and famous and stuff, just, I'm telling you, just like, amazing stuff. But that's what introduced me to Big Bear. I got introduced to this place by coming up here with them, with Jordan, and we all partied big time. We had a bunch of kegs. I think we were, I, we were in our late teens. So like we got beer somehow, obviously we always did. Um, I think we, we ate a bunch of, uh, Cubensies. <laughs> it was all weekend long. We didn't stop. We were drinking them in tea and eating and just, it was, it was, it was just a, a crazy time in like a 10,000 square foot freaking just like completely furnished, like the whole family's living there. When we got there and stuff, um, there was someone who like preps the house for for them and stuff. It, it was just such an awesome experience and I'm so blessed I got to experience that. Um, 
because you only live once and I don't want to settle for like I for like second out there because I'm the type of person who loves to help other people and I want to take people with me and enjoy these beautiful things in life and seriously like if I if I believed in reincarnation maybe I might procrastinate till the next life <laughs> and just enjoy this one but I really want to bust my butt and start doing something great and I feel like this YouTube channel because it touches some some people's lives good and sadly bad like I don't I don't know I don't know what I'm doing that's so horrible I know sometimes I drive a little fast and I and Look, you guys will be proud of me. Look, I'm not even driving 35 right now. I'm not even driving 35. Speed limit's 35. But yeah, I, I try to try to live right. You know, if I do break any laws, it's basically just like if if I'm speeding or like something like that. I'm not out there to hurt anybody. If anything, I want to help other people. And I've had that gift apparently my whole life um, I never I never believed in it but somehow some people have like really broken down to me about what I've done for them um, in terms of like talking to them or especially in the in the drug and alcohol world at like rehab centers and stuff like that seriously it's uh I mean, even if your impact isn't that big, if it's a positive one, then that's a huge impact. Huge impact. We need as much positivity out there. I'm not saying mine's a big impact at all. It's not what she said. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. I know, I need to grow up. Um, okay. You know what's crazy is somebody tried to give me a video that would have been my most watched video and it it definitely is would be part of this channel like watching people crash their cars sliding on on the ice but I didn't feel like that would be something to like I don't know until I saw how many views it got and I'm like geez babe. like wow he's got more views on that one video than all my like almost 3,000 videos have put together it's unbelievable freaking awesome yeah I I remember he, he was like yeah you do those videos right because I don't know how I like met him but it was right at right at the time of a big storm or on this street right here called Maple cars could not stop at all coming down the hill and they were all sliding through this this intersection and like all running into one car that was already crashed right there just caught just boom one after the other and he's got like two million views from that but I remember it had to have been him because it was exactly describing what I was watching in the video he wanted me to put it on my channel so people could see it and I felt kind of another thing that felt weird about that was that it wasn't my own footage so like I felt like that would be selling selling us short kind of I don't know like I want to get my own footage but in the future because how often are you gonna catch something like that especially in a town where everyone's used to the snow so in the future I'll definitely be uh, I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll be taking videos like that for sure up here as long as it's up here but my goodness, like super freaking, super cool that that guy got a, a ton of views. I mean, views never really interested me that much because none of my videos really get a lot of views. You know? And I checked out all the statistics and stuff not too long ago, but it was the first time that, or no, the second time I went into it just to see because you get interested when you have a, a few thousand people that are subscribed to your channel. Like, like who's watching and stuff? Like, uh, from what areas? What kind of people and stuff? Like, it, it's just, it's crazy how it's just, it's just a little bit from, from just, a, just a lot of different little places. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. And I freaking love you guys so much, man. Holy crap. I don't even know what to say. I know I have a lot to say always. If it's the weirdest thing, I'm quiet all day long until I'm on the video. I swear, when you guys hang out with me, you're gonna be like, dude, 
does, does he not like us? Because I'm not that talkative of, well, sometimes I can get really talkative, but a lot of times, like, like I've become introverted. And do you see how few cars we've passed? We're in Shea, or in Baldwin Lake area, and this is uh, Shea Road to Shea off of, uh, if you stay on Big Bear Boulevard instead of turning on to Highway 38, if you just stay on Big Bear Boulevard and it goes straight through the stop sign, you'll come in here. It's called Shea Road and it's a beautiful tunnel of trees right here. It's just absolutely gorgeous to a huge open prairie on the left, which you can't see right now because it's nighttime, but it's really pretty out here. Really windy. <laughs> it's really windy out here. Hopefully no branches come down on us. But, uh, yeah, what was I saying? What was I saying just right before that? I always do that. I always do that. Jeez. Um, I know it would be nice just to kind of cruise and just feel like you're in the car without me talking. I, that's what these long drives are like pretty cool about. I might even turn on some music, some like classical music or something and we can just cruise in a very kind of ominous sight no cars anywhere we're just driving for miles with no cars in a town with I don't know 6,000 residents okay I'm trying to figure out what I was talking about I talked about my friend I don't have to see him oh I think it had something to do with like not wanting to settle for second best in, in life. And I didn't mean that like a pompous way either. Like not at all, like not at all. Like I'm I'm not out there to compete with anybody but myself, that's it. I want everybody to succeed. Everybody to succeed. Oh yeah, we were talking about the video of the all the cars crashing down Maple. Yeah, so basically in, in the future, if someone offers me something like that, I will take it. I thought I was doing the right thing by not because like I said, it wasn't my footage that I took with my own camera. And like, seriously, like I almost did take it, but I didn't. And I didn't, I, I didn't suspect. I mean, seriously, he has more views on that one video I think than my whole channel has ever had. <laughs> and I think it's like his only video. And he probably has like more subscribers than my channel too from that one video. YouTube's amazing. I'm telling you guys, like, it's amazing. Some people figure it out. Some people accidentally figure it out. But it's a place where, I mean, there's just so much magic that's happening. I watch a lot of cool videos of, like, reactions from, like, from, like people from, like, North, uh, North Korea that have escaped and uh, I mean it's just, it's it's just really 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 cool to get to see the, the rest of the world without having to read it in a newspaper or, or watch it on the TV just well I mean from from the news actually hearing it from the locals mouths and stuff like that it's just it's just super cool just to see how similar we really all are I mean we all like the same things we all like funny things and yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just super, super cool. Super, super cool. But, uh, yeah. I mean, everything. Like, I guess what, like, YouTube likes is lots of interactions. So I guess all the comments are, like, good. And thumbs up, thumbs down are good. Like, it's, it, it's, it's all interaction. And so it's all part of it, which is just super, super cool. You don't get punished for, like, thumbs down or thumbs up or anything like that it's all part of it which obviously I don't care either way I've never asked you guys to hit thumbs up I mean when you guys do yeah it, it, it makes me smile it makes me enjoy that what I'm doing brings brings a thumbs up <laughs> you know like good job I like it but it's not why I do this and you guys should know that by now I mean even if it was all thumbs down I would never stop doing this because this is what keeps me sane and then the biggest blessing out of the whole thing was 
having you guys in my life. I, I just did, this was something I did not see coming. I thought I'd be made fun of for this channel and literally thumbs down all the way. Um, I really thought that. I just didn't think people would put up with a channel like this. But that's why I originally posted all these videos because I couldn't afford a thumb drive. And I, was th I thought I was being smart by putting them here. And you know what? It was smart because I, <laughs> I mean, man, things happen for a reason. And I got to meet, I've got to meet a lot of you guys in person. I've definitely met, I've met a lot of you chatting, a lot of you. And it's just, it's, it's just, it just blows my mind. And yet I still feel freaking like I, I could be in the middle of a room with like 500 people and feel completely lonely. That's how just, oh man, I don't know, I don't know. You guys really do help a lot more than you think and I really appreciate it. So, over here, usually less weather is happening. The clouds break up over this area right here because it's, it's coming into a really dry desert climate. Just smacking it right here. And that dry air really messes with this moisture coming over the mountains. It just eats it up. So unfortunately we don't get much weather over here. Or as much, I should say. They'll get weather every time we get anything on the other side of town, but it's it's never near it's never as much. Look, it's still 55 degrees according to my car, so I guess it is that warm. And there's tumbleweed blowing around. You know, there's a car behind us. We're just going to let him go by just so we can have our freedom here. Very cool. At least I think he's turning. Oh, no. He turned. He went into Baldwin. I guess we don't need to get out of the way. He looked like he was humming down here. Hope he didn't turn off his lights just to play a joke and I'm pulling out in front of him. Okay, good. Alright. Sorry about that. Yeah, we are driving around the other end of Baldwin. This is Highway 18. Just like, uh, if you come into town from the backside from Lucerne Valley, Apple Valley, Victorville area on Highway 18, this is where you'll basically start your journey once you get into the valley. The valley of the bay. Big Bear Valley. Since there's no cars, we make this road as safe as possible. I use as much of it as I possibly can. Only when I can see a long way ahead of me. Around blind turns, there's a lot of cars that have dim lights up here. You just, it's, it's even if you have, if, if you can see, it's never, never smart. And I'm sure that's very common sense for most of you. All of you, sorry, all of you. Yeah, anyway. I'm trying to think of what type of music we should listen to. Maybe I'll just shut up for a minute. I swear I'm gonna try you guys. It says 201. I'm gonna shut up till 205. You guys are gonna be proud of me. Here we go.
getting some rain. It's crazy, man. As soon as we leave Baldwin, we start getting weather again. And I'm seriously gonna rip this thing out of my car. It keeps on shaking so loud. It's all this stuff down here. That's what you guys are always hearing. And I've tried tightening it up and it stops for like a mile. Whoa, look at all this. Man, it's getting, it's really windy. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's stuff in the streets everywhere. Pine needles everywhere. I hope the low light feature is working well. realize that but if there's a lot like this going around a curve it will slide a little bit so just be careful it's not usually going to be a problem That's a, that's a good thing, I don't know if bars are open. I'm a recovering alcoholic for those who don't know. Eight plus years. Oh, I was tripping for a minute because that PA system wasn't making as much noise as it usually does. Started thinking about it, it starts up here. God, some of these raindrops look like snowflakes, like floating up to the car. It's just so weird. Now it's 47 degrees. It's dropped eight. Well, it's dropped eight degrees in like five minutes. You guys saw it. Let's see, 55. Oh, that was a cop. But it's, uh, they're getting, it looked like a, a small snow plow. Or, well, it was a truck with a plow on it. It wasn't one of the official big dogs. You know it's going to be a decent storm when they're out a day or two before the storm, like prepping the roads, dumping all the whatever they dump on the roads. And then once it snows, they dump all the salt and stuff like that pretty sure it's salt right still I don't know if they've like updated their methods over all the years but yeah it used to be salt I'm sure it still is salt and some other mixture these are things I should know but I don't look at this man there's just 
there's no cars. snow tonight it's unfortunate but it is what it is we have another chance sometime this next week to get cold enough temperatures I hope it happens look at all the pine needles look at that yeah we haven't had any storm like this in a while obviously we didn't get much precipitation out of it although it is raining fairly well we haven't received that much and won't get that much out of this but it's nice to get our first real storm, even though, as I said, it, it didn't really bring much moisture. Anyway, love you guys a lot. Hope you guys take care and uh, peace out. Until next time, looking forward to hearing from you all. Bye.